What's up everyone, it's Will here. On today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to be a famous Roblox YouTuber. This is going to be part two to the series. If you guys have not watched part one yet, make sure you guys go watch that. The link will be down below in the description or in the comment section. You can feel free to watch that after the video. This video is super important and it's going to make your whole Roblox YouTube journey so much more simpler. I wish someone taught me the stuff I'm about to teach you guys in this video when I first started. It would really, really help, but I'm here to teach you guys because I genuinely want to help you guys out. I'm not here to sell you guys any courses or any YouTube stuff. I'm just here to give you guys some tips that I wish people would have told me when I first started because I know how important this can be. Like I said, make sure you guys go watch through the first video as well because that's also super important. If you watch both videos, I promise you, you are already 10 steps ahead of a lot of YouTubers. So with that said though, let's go ahead and get into the video. This video is going to be focused more on the YouTube algorithm as a whole while part one was more focused on kind of the basics and the important base. If you guys do enjoy content like this, feel free to subscribe and like. We are not doing too well right now. So a subscribe and like would mean the world to me. Literally, I know it only takes two seconds. A lot of you guys don't want to do it, but please do it. I beg of you. With that said, let's go and get into the video. So the first tip we're going to be talking about is your mental game, right? So you can't be discouraged when views are down and you cannot compare yourselves to other YouTubers. That's a trap. I think me and other YouTubers always fall into. You can be a million subscribers and get good views and still not be satisfied with yourself because there's always going to be a YouTuber that does better than you, right? And that's just always how YouTube's going to be. So please, whatever you do, do not compare yourselves to others. Just remember God has different plans for everyone and, and he has a plan for your channel, a custom plan just for you. So just live out his plans and you will be completely fine. So do not worry about that. Also, do not be discouraged when your views are down, okay? My channel, I've gone through ups and downs way too many times than I'd like to. It's really painful, but it's all meant to make you a better person in the end, and you always do live through it. So if your views are really good for one month and just down a lot the other month, do not panic. Just stick to your plans, and you will be completely fine. Obviously, change up some things if you have to, but with that said, let's get into the second tip. The second tip is your click-through rate and your average view duration. So actually, average view duration is going to be the third tip. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the second tip. Now, this is where the video starts getting important so make sure you guys watch through this entire video because every single tip after this is super important if you miss one well it's going to be bad for you so with that said though let's go and get into the click rate on thumbnails so this is what the youtube algorithm really really likes now for those of you guys who don't know what the youtube algorithm is it's basically the thing that runs youtube in the behind like the coding and stuff whatever is all ran by the youtube algorithm the coding and stuff is all for the youtube algorithm so for example if you watch a bunch of roblox videos right let's say you watch a bunch of flamingo videos and you don't subscribe to them or whatever and you go back to your home page you'll notice that there's a lot of flamingo videos and you're recommended if you watch a lot of flamingo and let's say you know you're not subscribed or even if you are subscribed this is an example of the youtube algorithm doing its magic what it does is it basically promotes out videos and it's a reason why you see youtubers go from you know 10k subscribers to 100k the next month is because of the youtube algorithm so if you go to the youtube analytics there will be a part in there that says like recommended or you know um home page something like that whatever it's basically the youtube algorithm doing its magic and promoting your video out right now the youtube algorithm looks for two things it looks for click through rate on thumbnails and it also looks for average view duration and obviously you know the engagement on the video right how many likes how many comments is the video getting because remember the whole goal of the youtube algorithm is to keep people on youtube for as long as possible because that way they make the most money so just keep in mind that youtube wants their audience to be on the platform as long as possible so with that said, let's get into tip number two. So tip number two, like I said, it's click through rate on thumbnails. So you do need good thumbnails. This is why good thumbnails are important because if no one clicks on your video, no one's going to watch it. And obviously the YouTube algorithm likes videos that people are going to actually click on and watch, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory. You do need good thumbnails. Now, this is why every YouTuber does clickbait. And I know some of you guys are like, you know, I don't do clickbait unless you're like a one in a million, right? It's basically set out for you that you're going to eventually clickbait at one point. I mean, every YouTuber does it from any Roblox YouTuber you can possibly think of, okay? It doesn't have to be bad clickbait. I'm just talking about like clickbait. Total, like normal clickbait. Is is totally fine. Just don't do the bad type of clickbait. So now let's go again to tip number three. So tip number three is the average view duration. So this is really important to your videos. This is basically how long people watch your video for, like the average view length people actually spend on your video. So you can actually check this in your YouTube analytics. I believe you can see this maybe an hour to like 24 hours after your video is published. Now this is super important because you want a average view duration for a Roblox YouTuber. It really depends which subgenre you're in. Uh, by the way, it doesn't really matter which subgenre you're in. You'll grow and you'll get views because Roblox has you know millions of players someone's gonna eventually watch your video right so keep that in mind if you are doing like some you know unknown niche or whatever in roblox make videos on it don't be shy but average view duration is super important you want an average view duration of at least 25 percent. 25 percent would be kind of on the lower side usually for you know shorter videos i guess under five minutes i try to go for like 40 percent um obviously if the video is a little longer it's going to be a little shorter so maybe like 25 to 30 percent around there obviously this does vary for what type of videos you are making so please just take my word as like an example that 
that you can use to compare your average view duration to. Obviously, I do not know what other YouTubers and other Roblox genres get for their average view duration, but I do know that is really important. And let's say people only watch like 10% of your video, then you know YouTube isn't going to promote it, obviously, and the algorithm will not like you at all. And trust me, when the algorithm does not like you, it is the worst feeling ever. But when it loves you, it's the best feeling ever. If you guys are wondering how you can check that, it is right in your video analytics. I'm sure you guys will find it. A quick Google search will work as well. So with that said, though, I also have to put in here that you need quality content, obviously. Um, your click-through rate and your average view duration is all going to depend on your quality of the content. So if you're posting random videos like a minute long or something, don't expect you to, you know, actually blow up or anything unless you're doing like shorts or, you know, it's like funny little compilation edits or whatever. You want to, you know, really use your personality and just get yourself out there and let your fans know who you really are, right? You want to talk over your videos. Don't use some robot voice. Don't use text. Trust me, you'll regret it. If you hate your voice, just use it. I promise you everything's going to be okay. And yeah, so just keep that in mind that you do need quality content because obviously if you don't have quality content, no one's going to click on your videos and no one's going to be watching for very long either. So you're not going to really blow up if your content isn't high quality. Now, I also want to talk about tip number, I believe this is five or four. Drizzy, my editor, please check that for me. Uh, this is where we get to the more, I guess, technical side, the more uh, advanced nerdy side of YouTube. So this is with the YouTube SEO. Now, this is how the SEO is basically how you get ranked in search, right? So if you search like how to be a Roblox YouTuber, you see a bunch of videos pop up and that's basically how the SEO works. They put out videos with the, it kind of works with the algorithm. I don't know. It's kind of confusing to be honest, but basically just know that it has something to do with the YouTube search rankings. Now, here's what I do. You obviously have a title, right? In your title, you want some keywords that you think people will search for the videos. So let's say your title is how to make Robux on Roblox. Here's what you want to do. Okay. You want to put your keywords three times in your description. So you want to do how to make Robux on Roblox. And you want to just basically put keywords that you think people will search for in the description. And you would put it three times. Okay. So that's why you see a lot of YouTubers. I know like Kaneko Kitten does it. I do it too. If you look at my other videos and I'll do it on this video as well. So you can just check the description of this video. I'll go ahead and put my title three times in the description because that helps you basically get ranked on search and everything. Obviously, another important part of being ranked on search is that, you know, you have the good click-through rate and the good average view duration and the quality content, but this also does help a lot as well. If you guys are confused on this part, I know it is kind of confusing. Let me know down below in the comment section. I will respond to your comment the best to my ability. Now, before we're going to get into the next point, I want to talk about tags. So you guys know tags used to be a super important part of Roblox YouTube or, you know, YouTube in general, but, you know, tags really aren't that important anymore. Um, YouTube basically changed their algorithm to basically where tags don't really matter. They only are like 5% of your video now just because that a lot of old YouTubers were, uh, I guess, abusing the tag system. So what they did is they changed it to where tags don't really matter now. Let, like, let's say if part of your video is unclarified and what you want the video to search for, then you can use tags that would be clarified. So let's say your video is like how to make Robux, but it's kind of unclear in the video. Maybe you're talking about like other stuff in the video as well, but you wanted to rank for, you know, how to make Robux, then you'll put that in the tags and it basically helps the algorithm kind of rank your video and decide what your video is for. Now it's going to get to the last tip. I believe this is tip number five and we're going to talk about the algorithm. So the algorithm changes a lot. Okay. You guys know the algorithm changes. I think like at least once a year, you know what I'm saying? It changes so much and there's so much beyond the scenes that YouTube just does not talk about. YouTube is a very, I guess, private company with their stuff and they don't really talk a lot about it, but the algorithm changes can really hurt. Um, I believe the algorithm was recently changed. I believe like three months ago and it hurt a lot of creators, but just remember whenever an algorithm does change, it can hurt a lot of creators, but it can also help a lot of creators. So let's say it only hurts like 5% of creators. It's also going to help like the other 30% of creators, right? I remember back in like 2012 and back in the early days when PewDiePie first started getting big, the algorithm was based on, you know, how long your videos were. They wanted to promote, you know, long videos out there. They didn't really care about the click through rate. They didn't really care about the average view duration. They cared more about how long your videos were. Obviously now, you know, those are the baby days of YouTube. We've come a long way now. YouTube is a lot different. So just keep in mind, whenever the algorithm does change and your views do go down, just keep pushing out content and eventually the algorithm will reward you. I can make this very, very clear. I already said this in part one. That's why I said part one is super important because it also gives you a lot of good informational stuff. But I also want to make this very clear that YouTube will reward you if you upload consistently, especially those who upload daily. YouTube will reward you a lot. I know a lot of you guys don't have time to do that. It's totally fine. I don't upload daily either, but I'm just saying YouTube rewards YouTubers who upload very, very consistently and constantly. So with that said though, those are all my tips for you. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe. Make sure you guys watch part one because part one is actually super important. I believe these two parts kind of work together. It's like part one is like the wall of the house. And then this video is like the roof of the house. Obviously you need the wall and the roof to make a good house, right? So that's basically my analogy for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, like I said, subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. My channel hasn't been doing too well, but just remember I'm going to push through it. Like I always have been. There's a lot of ups and downs in everyone's channels and you just got to make sure you understand there'll always be an up when there's a down that goes for life in general. Okay. So love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to help people to be honest. Like I said, I'm not here to sell you a course or anything. I'm not here to make money off you guys. I mean, if you want to subscribe, you know, I would really appreciate that, but 
I'm just really here to help. Thank you for watching. I love you. Peace out, everyone.